Song Ji here to begin a 10-day quarantine due to the fact that she is unvaccinated. On 21st January, Song Ji Hyo's agency creative group ING confirmed in an official press statement that the actress will begin a 10-day quarantine immediately after coming into contact with a positive COVID-19 carrier during her recent filming schedule. First, the agency revealed that Song Ji Hyo has tested negative for COVID-19 after undergoing a PCR test. However, due to the fact that she is unvaccinated, Song Ji Hyo is required by current health guidelines to go into quarantine for 10 days. As a result, she will be absent from SBS's Running Man during the program's upcoming recordings, scheduled from January 24 to 25. Creative group ING also explained the reason why Song Ji Hyo is currently unvaccinated, stating, Song Ji Hyo was diagnosed with having a medicinal allergy during her childhood. The allergy persists to this day, and in 2011, when Song Ji Hyo decided to receive a nutritional four treatment due to her busy schedules and deteriorating stamina, she experienced severe allergic reactions including a rash all over her body and difficulty breathing. She was transported to the emergency room immediately and treated for her allergic reaction. Even after this incident, Song Ji Hyo continued to display severe allergic reactions to various antibiotics. As a result, Song Ji Hyo is consulting her doctor seriously in regard to being administered the COVID-19 vaccine, and presently, she remains unvaccinated. The agency promises to do out best to ensure the health and safety of our artists and follow all disease prevention guidelines precisely. Thank you. Meanwhile, back on 20th January, Super Junior's agency label SJ confirmed that member Yoon Hyuk has tested positive for COVID-19. Because Yoon Hyuk attended a recording for SBS's Running Man back on 17th January, all cast members of Running Man immediately underwent PCR tests after being notified of Yoon Hyuk's test results. Netizens discuss the three current gorgeous Mew Mew girls in Korea. Who are the three current Mew Mew girls in Korea? On an online community forum, netizens discussed the three Mew Mew models currently represented by Korean celebrities. Although many idols have modeled for the Italian fashion brand in the past, including Red Velvet's Irene and Oh My Girl's Arin, these three celebrities seem to be the current iconic Mew Mew girls whose similar and yet different atmospheres bring out the label's signature charms. Netizen comments include Whoa! Leo am I? I love Leo Mi's pictorials. I think Mew Mew is all about that youthful female image which I think Vanyung suits the best. Mew Mew is Vanyung. After seeing Leo am I on that red carpet, I thought she was human Mew Mew itself. I love how expensive and elegant Yui looks. I used to think that Wan Yung was the best Miu Miu girl, but after seeing Lee Yo Am I, I was so shocked. Wow! Wan Yung looks amazing. Miu Miu is like an evergreen tree. Their preferences do not change. They are all incredibly beautiful. Their images are all Miu Miu material. They suit the brand's identity. BTS Jimin becomes most mentioned person in apparel and accessories. BTS Jimin was discovered to be the most mentioned person under the apparel and accessories category after his artist made collection was released. On Jan 18, the artist made collection by Jimin was officially dropped. It consisted of a purple hoodie and a set of hoop earrings. Both items put on several designated online stores were sold out in just under a second. Jimin's purple hoodie costs 99,001 
while the set of earrings was priced at 75,001. As a result of the March release, several keywords and hashtags related to the BTS member and his self-made merchandise trended worldwide and in South Korea on Twitter. On Jan 21, NetBase Squid announced that the release of the highly anticipated Artist Made collection by Jimin is attributed to BTS Jimin becoming the most mentioned person this week under the apparel and accessories. Numerous discussions mentioning Jimin's purple hoodie and earrings have been tracked. Jimin showed massive impact as he surpassed some well-known fashion icons and brands like Bela Hadid, Christian Siriano, Alan Iverson, and Eve St. Laurent after recording a total of 13,828,228 news and social mentions. NetBase Quid is a platform that shares contextual insights to announce business trends, examine the story behind competitors and the market, and connect with consumers. They make use of artificial intelligence to deliver data in a fast, precise, and efficient manner. BTS Jimin's influence on the fashion world is no joke. Last year, he was dubbed the LV frontman after making headlines when he appeared at the Louis Vuitton Mains fashion show. It was later discovered that Jimin was the reason behind BTS being chosen as the Louis Vuitton brand ambassador. Moreover, Jimin has caused the luxury items he wore in the past to sell out, including outfits, bags, or shoes of Chanel and Louis Vuitton. Because of this, he acquired the title Sold Out King. In other news, BTS member Jimin was mentioned as the role model of old and new artists in the past week. On Jan 19, Kim Hyung Joon, a member of the boy band SS501, mentioned Jimin while talking about BTS. He said, that he really likes Jimin as an artist. SS501 isn't a new Korean group as it made its debut in 2005 and was regarded to be one of the top boy bands before. The group has not disbanded but it has been on hiatus since June 2010. On Jan 13, Juan, the main vocalist and lead dancer of the new K-pop boy group Tan, sat down for an interview with the press, and that's where he named Jimin as his role model. Tan Juan said that he finds it cool to impress the public with singing, dancing and facial expressions, all of which BTS Jimin is known and praised for. Many rookie idols look up to him and consider him a book to read for a successful career, and so Jimin was dubbed Rookie's Bible. YouTuber Free Zia's agency reveals she is in shock from all the hate comments. YouTuber Free Zia's agency says the YouTuber is currently under shock after getting multiple hate comments. According to Hyoin CNC's representative Kim Hyo Jin on 21st January, the influencer is currently in shock from all the hate comments after the controversy of wearing imitated luxury items. Kim Hyojin revealed, We are not booking a new schedule to reflect upon the incident. But it's out of our control regarding the previously signed contracts. It's up to our clients. She continued, It's my mistake that I didn't notice the issue earlier but not everything she introduced is fake. I'm preventing her from reading any more comments because she is in shock after reading some of the hate comments. To mention a few, Song Ji Ashut Kaches, thanks for tarnishing the national image, just KYS. The earlier legal notice pertains to those types of comments. Meanwhile, former entertainment reporter Lee Jin Ho revealed Free Zia was seen at the photoshoot for a magazine on 20th January. In his video, he said Free Zia still appeared at the set with swollen eyes. The insiders said they thought she would cancel the shoot, but she still appeared, making them think she's at least somewhat responsible. OK, stay tuned to our channel. I will be providing you with up-to-date reliable Korean news. Enjoy!